New tonight, we're getting our first look at the damage done by, or done rather to the parks in Granville by vandals. And the vandalism cost thousands of dollars worth of damage, putting a big strain on resources there. NBC4's Rob Sneed is joining us now with more on the effects of the damage on the community and what Granville plans to do to try to stop this, Rob. Colleen, as you can imagine, this is very frustrating for Granville officials. They said they are now considering installing surveillance cameras. They just want this to stop. Smashed windows. Consider what they're doing uh, before they damage them. Restrooms ransacked. We've had um, supplies in the facility just thrown all over the place. We've had two doors broken. Mm -hmm. We've had a garage door broken. We've had two windows broken. And fields turfed. Always some type of a vehicle and just tear through the park. NBC4 got our hands on the pictures of the vandalism that happened at McPeak Lodge and Raccoon Valley Park in Granville. Recreation District yeah. Director Andy Wildman says the vandals even went as far as stealing a canoe. One of them was taken. They tried to ride it uh, down a hill. They appear to have been somewhat successful in that. Luckily for them, Wildman says they found the canoe days later, but the vandalism is costing thousands. Any day, you could wake up and be four or five thousand dollars in the hole. Wildman says the village parks have only had five vandalism cases since 2010, but three of them happened just within the last month. He wants them to stop. Parks uh, like ours or in any community, uh, they're real important and they're, in, they're important um, to the entire community and a lot of folks work real hard to make them nice. As of now, they don't have a final decision on when or if cameras will actually be installed. They're asking anyone with any information about this case to contact police. Reporting live, Rob Sneed, NBC4. Thanks so much, Rob.